The most complex challenge when talking about learning innovation is being able to design and manage teaching and learning experiences. On one hand, we need to ensure that our students achieve results in terms of knowledge, abilities and competencies specific to our subjects. On the other hand, at the same time, we need to give them the chance to develop more complex skills, such as critical thinking, collaboration, communication, creativity and the transdisciplinary mindset. Those skills are very important to manage the rapidly changing context that students will find after leaving our universities, characterized by new and wicked problems. We definitely need to underline the change in the role of teachers when moving from a traditional teaching practice based on frontal lessons to one where active learning is the main strategy. We are basically going from a dimension where the teacher is a speaker to one where the teacher is a designer. These are two very different characters. The speaker has the responsibility to choose contents and to present them in the most efficient and clear way. The ability to express himself in an efficient and involving way is his most important skill. The teacher designer, instead, is a teacher who can design a wider learning experience, activating students alone or in groups, eventually also using what can be helpful from the digital world to reach the intended learning outcomes. The teacher designer could even create a learning context where the teacher doesn't speak at all, where he simply activates the classroom, giving students the possibility to achieve the intended learning outcomes thanks to the activities and initiatives he designed. Obviously, this does not mean demonizing the traditional teaching. Frontal content transmission will always have an important role in our teaching. The important thing is that the frontal content transmission, when necessary, should happen with a specific function inside a whole teaching project, mixing frontal and active approaches in the more appropriate way. The focus of the teacher will not therefore be limited to the careful selection of contents but will have to be open to design the entire learning experience where contents have many different roles in the learning path. Moreover, when designing the whole experience, we don't have to consider contents just per se, but we need to take into account also their structure, their format and their sources. So we can say that contents are part of a wider context where the learning experience happens. In order to visualize it, we can try to represent it with a network where we can represent the learning experience. In this network, the nodes are the active subjects of the experience who will need to be understood and observed in terms of their characteristics. The link among nodes are the physical and virtual channels that are used to support the communication among the actors of the learning experience that will be activated either individually or in groups. And finally, we have the relevant role of the outside world, a usually underestimated pillar in building the intended learning outcomes. So what you have just seen is a rich design path that wins within a very special network, the Learning Innovation Network. We will support you during all this path using the Learning Innovation Network that we will get to know in detail during this MOOC. 
it will help us at the same time to deconstruct the learning experience and to see it in an holistic perspective. Moreover, the Learning Innovation Network will help us in observing the learning experience with more consciousness and to redesign it being inspired by both the pedagogical culture and the opportunities that new technologies provide. In order to reach this point, however, we need to build some good foundations, so we will start from it. Our first step, therefore, will be reflecting together about the internal learning outcomes we want to achieve at the end of our journey. Then we will think about the assessment strategies we will use to understand if we have indeed been capable of bringing students to those learning outcomes. And finally, we will also explore the pedagogical frameworks that can help us to design the learning experience in an effective and evolutive way. Mm -hmm.